All right, KJ, tonight is the night. You Woo! are hosting the Seattle Sports Do oh, been Awards. I've been dreading this night for about two weeks now, but it's here. <laughs> I can't run from it now. I'm hosting my first ever sports show. This is really cool for yeah. them to trust in me, for them to believe in me, for us to recognize all these athletes and sports writers and just celebrate Washington sports. And so it was a down year. It was an okay year, but we're going to find some positivity right here going in forward to 2024, and I can't wait to do it. Well, and you, you've been elsewhere. You went to the Raiders. What, what is it that makes the Seattle sports community so special? It's the passion. It's the passion. It's the people. It's the energy. Like, I've been to a cracking game, storing game, Mariners, Mariners game. It does not matter. These people, they show up. They cheer at the top of their lungs, and they just love Washington sports. And so for me to play here for a decade, I felt it firsthand. I went to other teams, and I didn't feel it, you know, not so much. But um, I just love playing in this state to be able to be an ambassador for mm -hmm. Seattle. I never saw this coming, being a small town kid from Mississippi. I feel it every time that the, I've been out with you. We've done some events at Muckleshoot Casino. I feel I feel the love from the community for you. And everywhere I go, I get kisses. People give it their, <laughs> I, you know. You after, do, I've I, yeah, seen it. I get hugs, get kisses, and just for me to connect with people, mm -hmm. for them to be that person that could put a smile on their face. My mama, she always told me, she was like, son, it's not gonna last forever. Whenever you're in someone's presence, do everything you can to make their day. And so I'm going to listen to my mama and just be that light to people. And um, I'm just truly blessed that God chose me. I think you do live that. But are you, are you going to crack a couple of jokes at people's expense today? Jokes are on the way. Um, I'm cracking jokes on the Mariners. I'm okay. cracking jokes on the Seahawks. I'm cracking jokes on the Seattle Sports Commission. Uh, it's coming. Are, just are Brock and Salk in there? I, I'm going to protect Salk. I wanted to get <laughs> Salk so bad. But I see Sock all the time. He really helped me elevate in my media career. So I'm going to leave Sock alone. I'm going to leave Brock alone. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, but Sock told right. me. I give it to him every day. So. Yeah, he told me don't make a joke against the Mariners, but I'm not listening to that. The, the Mariners are on the way. I'm sorry. Uh, and who are some of the people that you're excited to see be honored tonight? Well, right here to my left, we have Nate McMillan. I don't know if you guys remember, but he was 12 years, played here for the Seattle Supersonics. Yep. He coached here for the Sonics. And I just hope that when the Sonics do come back, that Nate McMillan is the head coach of the Seattle Sonics. Uh, Megan Rapino is in the building tonight. Awesome. We have Michael Penix. We have Jewel Lloyd. We have Angela Zhang, the, the young lady. She's 14 year olds in the U.S. Open. And so there's just so many athletes, so many stories to tell. We're going to honor Jim Cable. He, he passed away. Um, he's going to receive an award tonight. And so the list goes on and on. People are going to recognize. It's going to be a phenomenal night. Well, I'm really excited. Can't wait to see what you do with it. I'm glad your family's here to watch as well. Yes. My That's wife awesome. wife is here. Wife is here. No Aww. kids. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. You're taking a couple, you know, making a couple of jokes at people's expenses. Leave like the kids at home. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, yeah. you look great. I'm sure you're going to do a great job. We're excited to Thank see you. you do it. Thanks, Thank you. KJ. Appreciate it.